we're a day late and we're more than a dollar short, motherfuckers, when it comes to your AEW review. But Faust had to go check his ticker, make sure his blood pressure wasn't squirting out of his fucking eyes. And uh, <laughs> he was fine, but he would really love to have a, a ghost. Yeah. Have a ghost today? L- luckily, I don't have to have a defibrillator. And if I had to, oh, I don't God. Maybe I wouldn't leave it in the car. I don't know. Jesus. That'd be fucking so funny. You heard, you heard the whole story no. about all that, how he died? Who? No. That's Bray Wyatt. No, I don't have a fucking clue. So how JoJo found out, I guess. So the, all right. So he had COVID like a year ago or whatever. Yeah, and that's and what, like, you problem. know, he, that's where he started having his heart problems. And yeah. so they said about a week ago when all the rumors were saying, oh, he should be back soon. About a week mm-hmm. ago, I guess he had some something happen. Right. Yeah. So the day he died, he was supposed to have an appointment that day for a follow up. Mm. And he told told JoJo, I'm going to go lay down and take a nap for an hour. Well, I guess his alarm to go off to wake his ass up kept going off. So she went to the room to check on him. Like, why isn't he turning the alarm off? And that's how she found him. Wow. No shit. And then I guess her mom was there and tried to uh, do CPR and he wouldn't wake up. And then, um, yeah, I guess because of his heart issues, they had he had he was supposed to wear some sort of like a defibrillator. You know, that like shocks your heart, yeah, I yeah, guess. Yeah. yeah. So they they said they found that in his car. So he wasn't like using it. They're saying, well, I don't know if that for sure that would have saved him, but eh, could have jump started him if it was around. But I mean, walk yeah. into every fucking room with the fucking defibrillator. Oh, you know, put this down. Yeah, Jeez, I don't know how that works. Right? My grandfather, when he had heart issues, so his was inside his body. It was fucking yeah. planted in him. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most people thing. They, yeah. they kept asking if my father had one because they were like, oh, if, if you cremate him, you don't know. Mm-hmm. You're in trouble. And I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> I was like, I said 50 billion heart surgeries, but you know. Yeah. Um, did they ever go into has he had the shot? I haven't heard that much. Because I'm like, well, he caught COVID. So this was before the shot, though, is when he got the fucking COVID shit and he's been fucked up since. Well, from the city it. had COVID about a year ago. I don't know if it was a mm-hmm. year ago. I don't know if it was before he came back or before it was after. While he was gone. When did he have that match? Was that Rumble against LA Knight? When they had the fucking that long ago? Fuck. the fucking Mountain Dew like, pitch black or whatever the fuck. Good question. I don't know. I think that was Rumble. Fuck. Long time. With all the neon shit. His one match. He only had one since he came when in. He came back? Yeah. And he was back for months. Fucking Christ. Crazy. Never get a storyline about Uncle Howdy. Nothing. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. I hope fucking Bo Dallas tells what it would have fucking what was supposed to go on. Yeah. Unless they don't fucking know, because that's very much a case. Oh, right. we'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Fuck. Huh, that's interesting. Fuck. So he went to sleep, never woke up from his nap. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Well, I still can't believe he's only 36. For some reason, I'm like, it seems like he's been a while around. Maybe he's like 38, 39. I don't know. I'm like 36. How old was Husky Harris? Yeah. yeah he was, was young long. when he came in. That was a real fucking long time ago. Imagine how he looked. He had a fucking shirt off and everything. Oof. That was, you were like, How's this guy doing anything? <laughs> yeah. Grew that beard, got a personality, changed the outfit, fucking work one. Mem- hey, do you me- here's something. Remember when he was on uh, the NXT, right? That's how yeah. he came in on the game show. Do you remember who his pro was? Who's Husky Harris's fucking pro? Oh, God. I don't know. Cody Rhodes. No shit. Huh. Pretty good. Um, I'm like, Hall of Fame this year? Mm. But I'm thinking it's going to be all ECW this year. Oh, That's this is probably. Silly. Yeah, I think the whole fucking <laughs> it's going to be all ECW people. Taz sit there. I think Taz could be invited. Why the fuck you? Go. He should be. I know. Why not? Yeah, fuck that. Billy fucking came from anti AEW with her in that shit too. RVD in it. RVD's in right. He's in. It's just RVD and the Dudleys. Yeah. So it would have to be Paul gets in. Mm-hmm. Um, Paul, Sandman, Sabu, Taz, Dreamer, Dreamer, Raven, yeah, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess Raven. I was gonna say when it comes to those are the main guys. Strictly ECW, you would think Dreamer, but if you think career overall, yeah. Raven, because he did more in yeah, WCW and WWE. Johnny Polo. Yeah, but I mean, Taz was yeah, ECW, you know, fuck. Yeah, so. Sabu. Yeah, it's Taz and Sabu for sure. I still liked my story best with the fucking Jungle Jack shit, but they don't mm-hmm. fucking, 
fucking assholes. Speaking of, we're talking about we'll a, get into it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're going to give you all these fucking shows going into the pay-per-view. So the Freebirds will only get what you guys will, of course, get as well. Um, Dynamite by itself, Dynamite. which might not have many people on it. So we're going to be an interesting show <laughs> against okay, with Kip Sabian. Well, Punk's not on Dynamite anyway, so. <laughs> he couldn't, wouldn't be allowed anyway. <laughs> I love that all the reports also say Punk's never the one who seek these motherfuckers out. Mm -hmm. They all fucking come stir shit, and he ends their shit. That's yeah. the best part is they go, well, he wasn't that great in MMA. He's still fucking better than the, the normal right. fucking nobody. He still choke us the fuck out because mm -hmm. you go, well, I don't know any of that stupid shit. Um, and we'll get into old Jungle Jack on the pre-show. Mm. I, I was like, I'm so glad I watched this because only for one fucking thing. And I was like, oh, okay, that is so fucking wild. Rampage. R.I.P. Bray music with uh, Bray music. Bray Wyatt with tender music. And I felt like they don't even do this right. I don't, I don't like how there's moving words in memoriam. And then there was music like, and then it just fades really fast. I'm like, it's just... I'm criticizing an in memoriam fucking intro, yeah. but it's just nice when it's just a picture. I'm hold it up there. And that's it. I don't know which way I go with. I don't know if I'm pissed that they give tribute when he wasn't fucking from you guys yeah. Fuck off. That's that's where I'm always like. But then you go, well, it's nice. He's in the wrestling world and we're all fucking, you know, what the fuck? You don't pretend they're not fucking mm -hmm. ever been alive before. So I, I understand it both ways. It's just fucking. I don't know. It's, yeah, but it's glommy to me from them. If if uh, I don't know, Kenny Omega drops dead. Is WWE no. doing it in memoriam? They will not do a thing. And if if he went there for a cup of coffee, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> I mean, he was in developmental for a little while, but that was it. That was years no, ago. Fucking no, they wouldn't. If Young Bucks are dead, it's not a. You didn't see any fucking uh, Jay Briscoe in there. Oh, true. There you go. No, you're not going to. It's not their fucking world. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I gotta say, Faust, I got a good look at this Harley. Yeah, and it's a good thing that she's got great tits because oh, she got she a little bit. She's not quite the bunny, but there's something close. The yeah. face is. I was like, hmm, I got a good look. I got a good look, Faust. God sometimes bless. Sometimes you see the face, and you're like, that's eh, not bad. And then sometimes you're like, yeah, it's Monet. Yeah, from a distance, it's mm -hmm. okay. So uh, this is Fighter Fest still. Why I don't know. And as soon as I see it's I don't Orange like Cassidy it's not around these fifty pay per views, you call it something. You don't need to call it anything I around know. But I see it's Orange Cassidy versus Aaron Solo. I'm like, cool. I can skip to the end. Orange still has a busted up fist, so he has to use the beach break because they keep putting, you know, keep putting over ah uh, his orange punch. Not what it used to be. And like. How long has this been going on now that his hand is hurt? No fucking shit. Uh, I assume Moxley will smash his hand in a fucking uh, stairs. Yeah. <laughs> That's, and, and now he can't do anything. Yeah. Um, or I'll hit the orange punch mm -hmm. with the broken fucking hand and go fucking crazy. Ah, my hand. And Moxley will just be a little bit woozy. But yeah. enough to grab him and fucking uh, do his move to him. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to fucking happen. Um my notes for this, Faust. Mm -hmm. Bailey's X versus Orange Cassidy for the IC title. The X has earned this title shot, obviously. <laughs> well, Orange gives title shots to anybody. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. You just ask him. All right. Solo pulls Harley in front of him, and she yells. She yells, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And then he does those little stupid kicks, right? Mm -hmm. To her fucking. And she, I, this is the bad guy wrestling shit. I go fucking crazy. What? What? Like they fucking how I can't fuck. What's going on? Overacting, yeah. Yes, and you're you're touching me with your feet. Ah, and it's like fuck. Um, again, everything uh possible, everything humanly possible happens to Orange, from a distraction to hit with a fucking boot mm -hmm. to hit with moves, kick out, and we know he's not losing, but fuck. Right. Don't fucking give him fifty fucking. <laughs> <laughs> for a job or yeah like, let's make aaron solo look like a fucking main eventer here jesus uh jr sits down with qt <laughs> fuck saying that was my nose i'm like fuck <laughs> saying he won the latin american title now what jr sounds like he is so oh i know <laughs> i love her now what 
Yeah, he goes, you just won the Latinx title or whatever the fuck this guy. And he goes, now nah, what? <laughs> so, right to the uh, point. So he's saying how he wants respect. Cody and Hobbs, they came to him, not the other way around. He gets no respect.